Hi folks and welcome back. This video is about one of those topics which is often not talked about, pooing in the woods. I'm going to go through some of the things to consider when dealing with and disposing of human waste and offer a few tips on how to do it safely, easily and comfortably. There are a couple of things you're going to need in addition to toilet paper when you go and answer the call of nature um, and one of those things is something to dig with. You're going to need to dig a hole to dispose of your human waste um, and that hole needs to be at least 15 centimeters or six inches deep. So something to dig with is essential. If I'm backpacking or doing anything where size and weight is critical, I'll take this small trowel here. It, it slides together like this so it's, it's compact for packing away and then just locks into place. And that, although small, does a good job of digging a small hole. The nice thing about this one is that the cap on the end of the handle comes off and there's a little hole, a little void in the handle. And in there, I keep a lighter, which I'll come onto in a minute, and a small pack of emergency toilet paper in case I've run out. And that then becomes a complete toileting kit. If I'm out for longer camps, or if I'm with other people, or if weight just isn't an issue, I'll take this. This is a, a military folding entrenching tool, and this really does make short work of digging a cat hole for toilet purposes. It collapses down and folds so it's easier for transporting and carrying, but it is quite heavy as it is steel construction. And another thing that I would strongly recommend is some sort of hand sanitizer. This is a, an alcohol hand gel and it kills all those bacteria. You know, when you're out in the woods and you haven't got proper hand washing facilities, um, going to the toilet, obviously there is a risk of germs and germ spreading. So do yourself a favor and sanitize your hands afterwards. One of the things often not thought about, unfortunately, is where to go. Pick a location that is well away from camp and preferably downwind. And if you're anywhere near a water source, you need to make sure it is well clear of that water source. 50 meters, 50 yards at least, ideally. Dig your hole, do what you need to do, and then there's much less chance of that human waste leaching into the water source. Digging a hole is really important because animals have a tendency to, to dig it up, especially dogs. So if you have a dog with you, it's a good idea to, to just tie your dog up while you go and do what you need to do. Um, and that way, hopefully, it won't see where you've been and then go straight there and start digging it up. There are gonna be times when you simply can't dig a hole six inches deep. Um, you know, when the ground is frozen solid or in areas where it's, where it's very rocky, um, what I would suggest you do there is dig as deep as you can do what you need to do, cover it up as best you can, and then put something heavy over the top, like a rock or a log, to uh, stop animals from digging it up. Once you've been to the toilet, you're gonna to have some toilet paper to dispose of, and the temptation is just to chuck it in the hole along with your human waste and bury it. However, toilet paper doesn't decompose as quickly as you think it would. My advice is to always either take it out with you, and you can put a couple of bags in with your toilet kit for that purpose, or better still, to burn it. And I tend to just burn it there and then. Your alcohol hand gel comes in useful here again because a little squirt of that on the toilet paper makes sure that it catches and burns through and then you can just bury the ashes along with your droppings. Right, now we've got all the health and hygiene stuff out the way, I thought I'd go through four techniques that I use when going to the toilet in the woods. And they are the lean, the hang, the balance and the squat. First up is the classic lean. All you need is something to lean against a tree or a boulder or something like that, dig your hole and you're away. The advantage of this technique is it leaves your hands free and it's reasonably comfortable. Uh, the downside is that if you are using a tree to lean against it can be quite difficult to dig your hole because of roots and if you're somebody who likes to take their time uh, it can be a bit tiring on the legs. Next up is what I like to call the hang. Uh, you just need to pick yourself a good sturdy branch that you can hang off. Uh, make sure it's not one that's going to suddenly snap on you, because that would be unpleasant at best. It's quite comfortable, and being further away from the tree, digging is easier because you generally don't have the roots to deal with. The third technique is the balance. This is probably the most comfortable. Um, you know, you just have to find a log that is horizontal, that you, can, that you can sit on, obviously with your backside beyond the log, if you see what I mean. You dig a hole behind the log, and you, uh, you do what you need to do. It's comfortable because you know, you're sitting down, you've got your, your weight off your legs and you've got both hands free, but uh, obviously you do need to find a log that's fallen that is the right size so that you can actually sit on it with your, with your backside beyond it. So anything too big and obviously it ain't gonna work. And then lastly, we've got the squat. It's not my favorite technique, but if you haven't got a tree around or anything you can lean against or hold onto, it might be your only option. It's not very comfortable, 
and you have to be very careful about not letting your waist drop into your trousers which are obviously almost right in the way <laughs> because of the way you're because of the way you're squatting so there you go a bit of an unusual video i know but something i felt had to be done thanks for watching and i'll see you soon